Arthur. What's up, kid? Not much. Well, I had fun fishing. Yeah, me too. So I lost Mama's thimble. I was playing with it and just lost it. Oh, okay. She's going to kill me. I don't think she'd care too much. It's only a thimble. Oh, no. She will kill me. Well, maybe I can find you another one. You can give it to her. Oh, that would be fine. Thanks, Arthur. Would you be interested in some friendly competition? I've come all the way. Desgraciado! Yeah. So, you're still alive. Uh, Mr. Morgan! How are you? Indigestible, apparently. Aside from that, very well. How's the project going? Well, this is God's country, and I am his faithful servant, although perhaps not his most talented one. I have been trying to capture the grace of the wild horses here for weeks, only the buggers can't stand me. Ah. 
That is a silver dapple pinto. I know. Beautiful. Won't come anywhere near me, of course. He can smell my stupidity. Well, how about I drive him over? Oh, that might help. Can you be bothered? I feel like such a blunderer. Sure. Wait here. At least this time I doubt I'll get eaten. <laughs> <laughs> Your likeness taken? Go then! Boy. Good mustache. Come on! Yeah. Come on, horses! Well, in my world, that makes you a genius. You're too kind. <laughs> so how are the uh, photos coming along? Oh, amazing. Here, I have a print of the wolves before they try to eat us. Hmm. It's for you. That's real fine. Well, thank you. Take care, Mr. Mason. You too, sir. You too. Now, for a few final checks. Okay, boy.
Well, at least it ain't your job. Ah, shut up, Arthur. Yeah, your job's starting the fights. You ain't winning them. I can scrap, Arthur. I'm just no good at homework. I can see. Besides, what do you care, Englishman? You've got no time for me. I try to find your work, but then you're off cutting jobs with other folks, and your boy Sean doesn't get a look in. Guess I don't want to get shot, that's all. Ah, yeah, you're a real fucking funny shit, Arthur Morgan, huh? Real fucking funny. Calm down. You better sleep with your eyes open. Hell, you're gonna sleep with your chest open if you ain't careful, boy. <laughs> I love you, Arthur Morgan. I love you. Come on, take a shot. Come on, take your best shot, please. Yeah? Grow up. Hey, let me come on the raid, witches. Raid? Don't be playing coy with me, son. It's unbecoming. That bloody train you and him has set up. What you're doing out here, you're going to need guns, you're going to need men. Oh, that. So Marston told you? It ain't a big show. I need calmness. If I take you, I might as well bring Micah along. Now compare me to that oily toward again. You're a dead man. <laughs> Fair enough. Anyway, Arthur, what's your problem with me? In fact, don't tell me. I already know. You are threatened by me. Threatened by you? Yeah, my youthful vigor. It intimidates you. Does it? It's a story as old as the hills. The changing of the guard, the fading of the light. You're toast, old man. Okay. And what are you? I'm the future. In all its glory. Yeah, well, good luck. Good luck and shut up. <laughs> I want to get some rest before nightfall. <clears throat> Wake up, you lazy sir. What are you doing here, kid? I'm coming, John. On the job. I said you weren't coming. Yeah, well, Arthur says I am. And it's his party, boy, so come on, let's go. <laughs> Me and the big cheeses. Love it. Can't wait to slit some bastard's throat. You sure about this? No. <laughs> are we ready? Yeah. Train's due through tonight. All right, then. It's on. Charles? I'm ready. Gentlemen, let's go earn some money. Hey, all the horses untethered? Think so. Good. They should follow on behind us. You find a good spot, Wolfman? Yeah. Follow the trail southwest. There's a spot that's remote, but she'd still give them enough time to spot the oil wagon. They see this block in the tracks, they'll stop soon enough. Apparently, picks up a new team of guards at the state line, so... Shouldn't be too much in the way of guns to deal with. See, this is what I mean. I disappear for a couple of weeks and you cut me out of all the action. Just the action that requires a brain. Ha ha ha. Ah, you're a funny fella, John Marston. From what folks say, eh? you had your feet up the whole time playing sick and fondling that new scar like you're gonna buy a breakfast in the morning. You don't know what you're talking about. Stay close on this. Wouldn't want you getting scratched by a squirrel or something. That could put you out of commission for the rest of the year. Why do you have to speak so much? It's incessant. Because I've still got some blood in me veins. You old bastards have forgotten how to live. I blame you two for rescuing them. Far too much trouble for what we got out of it. Yeah, takes a whole army of bounty hunters to bring in Sean McGuire. They're left here, towards Rhodes. So, where was I? And look at me now, in the gutter sea, <laughs> back in business, boys. <laughs> you know, my dad always used to say... Not the dad, no, please. Not this again. Oh. Fine, damn you three. Sulky, angry, scarface. A right barrel of laughs. So, we got the tracks with the wagon, then jumped them. That's the plan. Pretty much. Charles, you deal with the engineer. John, secure the passenger car fast, take charitable donations, Watch and make sure everyone behaves. Are you crazy? Little Mr. McGuire, you focus on the baggage car. Grab any valuables you can find.
an idiot. Hey, all the horses untethered? Think so. Good. They should follow on behind us. You find a good spot, Wolfman? Yeah. Follow the trail southwest. There's a spot that's remote, but should still give them enough time to spot the oil wagon. They see this blocking the tracks, they'll stop soon enough. Apparently, picks up a new team of guards at the state line, so shouldn't be too much in the way of guns to deal with. See, this is what I mean. I disappear for a couple of weeks, and you cut me out of all the action. Just the action that requires a brain. Ha ha ha. You're a funny fella, John Marston. Come on, folks, eh? You had your feet up the whole time, playing sick, and fondling that new scar, like you're gonna buy a breakfast in the morning. You don't know what you're talking about. Stay close on this. Wouldn't want you getting scratched by a squirrel or something. They're left here, towards Rhodes. So, yes. That could put you out of commission for the rest of the year. Why do you have to speak so much? It's incessant. Plus, I've still got some blood in me veins. You old bastards have forgotten how to live. I blame you two for rescuing them. Far too much trouble for what we got out of it. Yeah, takes a whole army of bounty hunters to bring in Sean McGuire. And look at me now, in the gunner's sea. <laughs> Back in business, boys. <laughs> you know, my dad always used to say... Not the dad, no, please. No, this oh. again. Fine, damn you three. Sulky, angry, scarfaced. A right barrel of laughs. So, we block the tracks with the wagon, then jump them. That's the plan. Pretty much. Charles, you deal with the engineer. John, secure the passenger car fast, take charitable donations, and make sure everyone behaves. Little Mr. McGuire, you focus on the baggage car. Grab any valuables you can find. Shoot your mouth, get a bullet back. So, what are you doing? I'll run one. Keep an eye out for outriders and the law. Help you three where I can. All right for something. Stop the wagon over the tracks. Remember, these are innocent folks. We handle this right, nobody needs to die here. Yeah. Mr. Marsh. Mr. Smith. Mr. McGuire. Yeah. Get over there. When she slows, order. And you? I'm gonna make sure she slows. I'll still or die with you. <laughs> I like it. Get moving. Here she comes. Get up there. Finish up here. Join us on board. Go on! Get hey. on there! Faster. All yours, Captain. Well, go on ahead. Everybody stay calm! Shut up! You get shot! Just go! Everything you got! Money! Valuable! There you go. Let's make this quick, people. Come on. We ain't leaving till this bag's full. Don't do anything. I ain't got nothing. Want to have a little chat with Romeo and Juliet here? What's the problem here? I beg you. Money. Don't do this. Please. Please. Just give it to him, Thomas. Please. Okay. Come on. Okay. In the bag, God everything you got. Keep it coming. Don't be shy. People like you make me sick. These two seem to think we're playing games. Don't do this. I want to count to three. 
damn it! Oh, Sick is better than dead, lady. And I'm losing my goddamn patience. Let's just do what he says, so this can be over. Ladies and gentlemen, this is a robbery! You make this quick! No, you go ahead and look for the baggage car. Right, you have guy, huh? You sure about Why that? Why are you wasting our time, You huh? sure this son of a bitch we ain't playing with? Quick, come on! Why are you stopping all this? Everything you got! Money! Valuables! We ain't leaving till this bag's full! You won't get a damn cent from me! Let me hand you over to my friend, then. Don't be an idiot. Honey, now! Oh, shit, bitch. Come on, cuff it up, people. Don't be shy. Everything you got. Let's go. This is unnecessary. Please. I can handle this from here. You should check on Sean. Okay. Okay! None of you folks move a muscle. You hear me? What is it? You alright? Fill the baggage car. For Christ's sake, you ain't even taking a look yet? There's probably something in here, Arthur. Best brother, but I'm seeing double here. That gives you twice the chance of hitting someone. <laughs> Very funny. Oh. Oh. I'm gonna have a right out lump on me head. At least you ain't got a hole in it. Are those tennis rackets in there? Hosh bastards. Just keep your Arthur! We've got a problem. There's two arseholes on horses. How many you say? I just see a pair of them. Well, in that case, we're fighting. Austin, Smith, get ready. You men come out the train now, do you hear? We said you men come out now. There's only two of you, you fools. We got a whole lot less to lose. Why don't the two of you ride away? That way neither of you get killed. Goddamn liberties. Hey, there's a few more of them torn enough. Man, in my big mouth. Okay. Let's deal with them. Last chance. There we go. Look out on the left. Here come the friends. Ah. And we got more ammo from the trees there.
was fun, boys. Real fun. We can see what they call you the professionals in the outfit. Shut <laughs> up. At least we made some money. Hey, what did I get? Gotta be a hundred dollars here. Very nice. You weren't even invited. <laughs> what now? <laughs> we still need a real big take. Enough for us to get out of here. Was that a setup? Law turned up real fast. I don't know. I don't think so, but I'm starting to get nervous. Think they followed us from Blackwater? Maybe. They found me already near Horseshoe, but I think this law was just locals. I hope so. I'm gonna head into Valentine, see if I can get something started there. Good idea. Either way, we should all go it alone right now. You know the deal. Don't be followed. Uh, of course not, boss. Yeah. Mister. Easy, boy, you're okay. Boy!
Can I get five minutes without a fan badgering me? Hey. Ah, oh, ah. Oh. <sighs> Hello, chum. Chum? Do you want an autograph or a photograph? I'm sorry? People often get nervous, but there's really no need to. I I'm just a, just a normal guy who, well, happens to be very famous. Okay. Who are you? Jeremy Gill. Who? The famous fisherman. I've written a lot of books. I'm in the newspaper all the time. Here's one from the new Hanover Gazettes from a few years back. And this is a book I wrote. Huh? I wrote it. Good for you. You really don't know who I am? Ah. Oh, well. <sighs> nice to meet you. You too. Arthur. Sure you don't want a photo? Uh, not right now. Oh. You know, mothers, they often offer me their daughters. Just for a photograph? <laughs> no! To marry. But I say no. I'm married to the fish. Huh. So, you're famous for fishing? Very. And that pays well? Uh, pretty well. What I mostly do is send fans stuffed fish. Stuffed fish? Yeah. Here, let me show you. Come with me. <laughs> and you're selling these? Yes. How many do you want? If you get three, we could do a photograph. Together. Like actual friends. No, I'm fine. It's, it's sort of ridiculous. Listen, chum. People love it. And I could sell even more fish if I add them. <laughs> it helps them to know that out there, there's some man fighting with Neptune on a daily basis and winning. Okay. But I can't catch enough of them. And there's really good money in this. I'll fish a little. You do? Well, in that case, send them to me. Uh, of course, uh, not if they're too rotten. Do you like that bass? I'd sell this for $50. I'd give you 15 Send you fish. Ooh, my card and a map. Oh, well, maybe I shall. <laughs> Only the decent ones. They have to be at least 24 inches in length and 10 pounds in weight. No one wants to imagine Jeremy Gill catching a tiddler. There's no money in tiddlers. So I hear.
get pickling my face. Goddamn Chinaman, man. Tell me this map will have treasure. <laughs> Juniper and boiled Satan, you scared me! Boiled Satan? Yeah, I get that a lot. So, what's that you got there? You ain't interested in no scrap paper. It's nothing. Just something for wiping and sniffing in the night. Yeah. Well, I got to go now. This is as nice as I'm gonna ask. Hand it over. Now! Whoa, whoa, whoa! No, no. Welcome back. Nothing like a fresh start. See you later. <laughs> 